Hi, if you're watching this video, you're most likely starting to learn Python, exactly like me. I'm a finance professor who is interested in learning Python to use it for task automation and file management, working with data and conducting statistical analysis, data visualization, web scraping, textual analysis, and machine learning, and so on. Perhaps even more stuff. To keep track of the materials I'm learning and to hopefully help others in my situation, I'm recording things I learn step by step. So this is the first video and here I'm trying to set up my computer so I can write my first Python program in it. To do so, I would need to install the Python program and a text editor that goes with it and to do uh, some sort of configuration so they work uh, well uh, all together. Uh, just uh, note that my computer runs on Windows uh, so if you have other operating systems you would need to do things slightly differently but I'm sure uh, you, you can figure it out. Okay so first first of all uh, let's see if uh, Python is installed on our computer so I can go to command from and then I search for uh, Python and it's written that is not recognized and as an internal or external command uh, so that obviously Python is not installed so uh, so the first step is to install uh, Python here and I go to search for Python download and I go to python.org here I can find the latest version of Python available, which is telling me is Python 3.9.1 at this time. So I try to download it and I find the file, uh, the installer file uh, for Windows uh, for 64 bit. I download the file to install it and I run that. So here's the first window shows up. It's important to add Python 3.9 to path. To click on this, it helps you uh, set up afterwards things better. And I say install now. So now it's telling me setup was successful. I close down this. Now I go to command prompt again and I write Python there. Well, it's telling me that Python 3.9.1 uh, is on, on the computer, so it's, it's set up well, and I can try to even see if it's working or not by saying print, for example. I am learning Python. So usually computer scientists and programmers, they love to write uh, hello world. So obviously I am not one of those. I am learning Python. So it, it, things work well. And uh, now I need to only set up some path for Python and PIP that I would be uh, needing afterwards. So what I need to do in here, uh, first of all, I would go to find out where Python was installed. And in my computer it was, so I, I need to go to app data. So usually if you go with the percent sign around it, you go there, go back to app data, local, and then I can go to programs and then Python, Python 3.9. And I need to go to scripts. So that's where I see pip and pip3 and so on. So that's the path I will be needing I copy this path, then I go to advanced system settings for Windows and I go to environment variables. Here I'm looking at path in here um, and I go edit. So I try to see if it exists the path here or not. So well, this exist here. If it didn't, I would have added one new here and added uh, this path here. Obviously I have it, then I don't need to do anything here. Then I would need to check here the path on the system variables. I go to edit to see Python if it's here or not. So well, I don't see Python here. 
what I would do then I would go here back and on the, this Python 3.9 and I copy that path I go here I add a new path and I add Python enter okay and what well, we are done with with this so now what I need to do is to go and download a text editor and here I'm gonna use a uh, Visual Studio Code I go Visual Studio Code download that's one of the best uh, editors uh, out there and I go there and I am again looking for Windows well I go for user installer 64 bit again and that goes to download it for me when it's downloaded I can try to run it I accept the agreement so here's the path that is going to be set up I go next and I go next here if I want to have a desktop icon I click on that add to path also it's here then I go forward and install so launch Visual Studio Code okay so now we have Visual Studio Code in here um, so there are several tabs here we can open a folder for example and then search etc so here is uh, for uh, debugging and that's where uh, we need to go first for extensions what we need to look for is the extension for python and that's what we need to install okay so now it's installed Python and I can go and open a folder I would go uh, on my desktop I create a folder called Python projects then I go to my Visual Studio code and I go to Python projects I open that folder and I can start now a new file and I call it uh, hello and dot we have to say py that declares that it's a python file and I can write now again here print I am learning python and if I go now to run it I go here I click uh, run and debug and it tells me what is this so it's a python file okay I declare it and now it writes for me here I am learning Python okay so sounds all good perhaps one thing you may want to do some settings and preferences uh, so I go to uh, preferences settings so in here there are a lot of parameters you may want to to set up for yourself or to change one thing perhaps if you are like me not a programmer you may not like this default uh, version of python the dark version you can look for for example color theme let's see uh, and there you can see uh, the, the the default is the dark uh, plus then i can maybe if you like uh, to go for light versions you can go to the light versions of uh, python i don't know which one i like more for now uh, i will see so okay that's the way you write your first python program it's a hello it's not a hello so i, I can add a hello here hello i am learning python okay thank you i hope you enjoyed this and uh, soon the next videos will come as soon as i of course learn something i will share it with you